The Ionic CLI 5.0 has recently been released, and this gives us the ability to create React applications with Ionic from the CLI. So to get started, let's make npm install Ionic at latest dash G. This will go ahead and install the latest version of Ionic inside of your command line. So then we'll be able to say Ionic start with the type parameter equal to React. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this install, I'm gonna go grab a coffee. By the time this comes back, we should be ready. Now that that has completed, we can say Ionic start, and we wanna do the name of our app, which will be React Ionic. We wanna say blank as the template, but you can of course use any template that you want. But this time we'll add dash dash type, and we'll say React. This will create that React app that we spoke about earlier on. This means we don't have to use create react app. And of course, once again, this will take maybe quite a while to install and make the project. But once the project has been downloaded, we can go ahead and run it. When that has completed, we can CD into react Ionic. Then of course, we can open this up with VS code using code dot. And at the same time, we can run this using Ionic serve. Inside of our app.tsx, we can see we have the imports for Ionic Core and a variety of different sort of features. And at the same time, inside of our pages file, we are using Ionic and React. So that's how to get started with the Ionic CLI 5 for React and Ionic. Other changes for the Ionic CLI version 5 is to install Cordova res and native run both globally on your machine with the dash G flag. Both Cordova res and native run are to do with the app binaries on the device. So for example, Cordova resources is used to generate Cordova resources locally and native run is to used to of course deploy app binaries to devices. So you'll need both of these things with Ionic CLI v5. And finally, for Angular projects using Ionic, you can upgrade easily using npm install at ionic slash angular dash toolkit at latest. So I'm gonna pretend that this is an angular and ionic project. And if we were to hit enter, that would of course update our project to the latest version. So the primary feature at this point is of course ionic and react support for the CLI, but there are a couple of other features too with this release. No, at this point in time, Ionic 5 does not exist. The CLI is on a different versioning system, but we can only hope. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated with more content. And until next time, I'll see you soon in the comments. Bye.